What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2022 Tops Finest Baseball three case break random teams number one, which is a total of 24 boxes, guys. 30 sp uh, 30 spots in, all teams in. Trevor Novak comments will ship, but again, find two autographs per master box. So we're gonna have quite a few autos here. So here we go, guys. Dice roller here. Here's the customer name. So these customers, Tristan down to Joe Pizzle, got those from uh, straight up. Sorry, I didn't get this for anything. Straight up, bot. And then Capstone five or four and five winners are right there, guys. And there's the teams all in. Roll. Um, one to four, five times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, and five. I know, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shave it off probably. <laughs> Unless it's good luck, right? Maybe I should keep it for the playoffs. All right, five times. Chris Walker, down to Tristan. Uh, five times here. One, two, three, four, five. Five times. Five, five. Minnesota Twins down to the San Diego Padres. I mean, this is the longest I've had it. It's almost a month now. I think I, I think I shaved my mustache off when I went to Mexico, like on the 23rd, and I haven't, I haven't done anything to it since. I've been cleaning up my beard and stuff, but just not the mustache. All right, guys. So there's a five, five teams. Chris Walker with the Twins, Tristan with the Phillies, Brian with the Cardinals, Ed, you have the Blue Jays, David Delapena with the Cubs, Ed with the Dodgers, Joe Pizzle with the White Sox, Kev with the Rays, uh, Richard with the Yankees, Steven with the Rangers, James, Jimmy, you have the Giants, William with the A's, Joe with the Brewers, Devin with the Braves, Tristan with the Pirates, Joe Pizzle with the Mariners, look at that, last spot mojo, uh, Robert Rungo with the Diamondbacks, Michael with the Rockies, Greg with the Nationals, Mark with the Royals, Jason with the Tigers, David with the Reds, Joe with the Astros, Tristan with the Marlins, Joseph Cavanaugh. With the Red Sox. Ryan Harrell with the Angels. Bill with the uh, Orioles. Uh, Tristan with the Guardians. Robert with the Mets. And then Tristan with the Padres. Alright guys. If anybody wants to trade. I'll give you guys a quick trade window. That's like that's our customer's name already. There's a customer of ours that shot this was is El Wapo. Literally. All right, guys. Uh, Jimmy's the only one saying Giants for trade. Anybody else want to trade? Let's just close it then. All 
All right, so I have only one case here. I have the other two cases behind me. It's not enough room to put uh, all three here, so we'll go one per case or one case at a time, and then we'll continue to uh, grab a case after that, and then the next case, etc. Oh man, Dan Jones got rocked from behind. I assume in a picker team, the Mariners are probably like a close to 200. Oh, I don't know if they're close to 200, but if the Rays are like 170 or 75, I'd assume they're around the same price. Oh, Barons are 270 to pick your team? Oh. Yeah, way worth more than that then. I don't know though. I, I thought the Rays and them would be almost similar. So I was thinking maybe 200, but. That's what having Julio Rodriguez on your team does. Sacadelphia today, guys. Well, Chad. Sorry about your parlay. Blank should almost had the interception. I think Chad doesn't think that they were worth as much because they don't have he doesn't have base. He was thinking like at least if you can get base it's better, but I mean, I think the autos, of course, is the one thing that people wanted the most, probably, but... Could have used that money on betting on the Eagles, Chad. I don't know how much you put. Was it $20? Man, that's a, that's a meal right there. That's a, that's a filler and a break.
It doesn't really matter to me, Steven, but just because we haven't played the 49ers yet, I'd like to probably play the 49ers. But I, it doesn't matter. I think a lot of Eagle fans probably want to play the Cowboys just because of the rivalry and the potential chance to beat them in Philadelphia would be awesome. But it, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not, it doesn't matter to me. Oh, Kenneth Gainwell scored. They are Jimmy and I mean maybe but I just I don't I don't I just see the Eagles defensive line dominating so that's the thing I just want to would like to see that matchup that's but that's just me but it doesn't really matter I think both games would be a tough game anyways all right we got Trey and Birdie for the Yankees, and actually, hold on, let me uh, show the list one more time. And that is Yankees. Uh, who has the Yankees in this? Uh, Richard does. Mike Trout. Then we got a Nolan Arenado cornerstone gold insert. Eight out of fifty. Uh, Brian C. Ozzy Alves. And Goose Gossage, Yankees box. Nice signature, too. Francisco Lindor. A new Cruz Silver. Xander Bogarts. Uh, we have a break schedule, Mr. Tree, that drops in the chat like every five minutes. Um, Immaculate is not scheduled until like 10 o'clock. This is like an hour and a half break because it's three cases. Then we have a hip parade, and then we're going to work on the Immaculate uh, filler that sold out, then do the R&B, and then we'll do Immaculate. So that won't be for a little bit, man. I think so too, Steven. I mean, they're more healthier this in this time around than the first time because they were really banged up. The fact that they won a Super Bowl was still even amazing because of that. Reed Detmers to 99. And we got Shane Biebs to 25. 
Tawny Silver. And Spencer Watkins. Been seeing a lot of repeats, Jimmy. That's one thing I kind of, I kind of hate about this product. This, well, I don't know. I don't remember if it's like that every year, but a lot of repeats I've seen. Cedric Mullins to 250. Brandon Marsh. Vidal Brujan for the Rays, finest rookies. Uh, that is uh, Rays is Kev. We got Matt Chapman. Trevor Story to 250. And a Luis Gill. I mean, we, we've seen this guy a lot too, Jimmy. Out of 25, Yankees having a good break so far. Richard Miller. We got a Freddie Freeman to 150. Judge. One of three Aaron Judge. Wow. It's very low numbered. Richard Miller with the Yankees. We got Gavin Sheets for the socks. Pizzle with that one. We got Marcus Simeon to 250. Trey Amber gets their second auto of him. This time that's numbered to 100. Yankees having a killer break. So far, at least, in the first case. Ronald Acuna Jr., Devin with that one. Julio Base. And a gold uh, Doc Good and Dwight. 37 out of 50. For the Mets. Robert Uncle. just the first four boxes.
See you, man. Alright guys, last box and then we'll be done with the first case. And then we'll grab the second one. So okay guys, this is a three caser, so you know, so we'll take a little bit. But now that the game's over, I think more people are obviously gonna pop on and uh, focus on some more breaks. Now, you know, we are kind of pretty much booked for most of the night, but you know, if if you guys hold out a, another break potentially, I mean I'm not I don't mind staying a little after, of course. So, but I'm glad we got this hit parade. I'm glad we got this finest done because this is a promo break. So you guys will be part of a promo now. Have a chance to win up to uh, fifteen hundred dollars. And then, um, you know, the immaculate break also sold out. So that means those customers in the R&B and the filler will also have a chance to win some money. Now the XR break is a little closer, actually, but. We still have to do two fillers technically, so 
you know, when I get done with this and go through the orders, if anything, if that filler does sell out, I don't mind doing the filler tonight, but we just have to do one whole nother filler. So, you know, if that didn't sell out by like 10.45, 11 o'clock, then obviously that's something that Joe would work on tomorrow with you guys. And then it's just a lot easier. You just have to do that filler again and the XR breaks and then uh, knock out the collegiate football, which I feel like people would knock it out tomorrow if that's the only break to unlock the break credit money. So Marcus sent me with that one. That's uh, Texas Rangers. Steven. And we got Yachty Color to 250. Hunter Green. To 150. And we got Cal Relic. Finest rookies. Autographs. And that's going to go to the Mariners and Pizzle Lost Spot Mojo. CJ Abrams Silver. And about a Julio. This is like the fourth straight case that we've had a Julio numbered card. And that's a green to 99. 37 out of 99. We got Bryson Stott. We got a Brian De La Cruz green autograph from Miami. Miami is uh, Tristan. Juan Soto to 250. Then we got Mark Mulder. We got a Jose Siri to 300. Byron Buxton. Alright, here we go. And a gold Austin Meadows. Nice one there for the Rays. Kevin with that one. That's uh, number to 50. 38 out of 50. O'Neill Cruz. We got Jeremy Pena. Nice one there for the Houston Astros at 250. Joe with that one. Then we got Nick Lodolo. Finest rookies. Alec Thomas. Then we got Aaron Ashby for the Brewers. Going to Joe. Wonder Frango, Ryan Valade. To 99. Which one is the case hit, Chad? I think Pizzle's a little behind. That Julio was like a little bit ago, Pizzle, so maybe you want to rewind. Or fast forward, sorry. Shane Beeps.
Oh, yeah. I thought that was two, but then someone corrected me yesterday and said that, they, that there's multiple ones in the case. So I'm just thinking it's more like that Bowman, uh, Bowman, uh, break where, like, uh, you get, like, those, uh, like, two per, two to three per. I forgot what they called that specific parallel color, but somebody said that, they, that it's more like you get a couple through a case, but, I mean, it's the only one we've gotten so far, right? Fergie Jenkins. We got Brandon Marsh. There's a specific name for that. They just had recently introduced that like a few years ago. Jaron Duran. It's 250. And then we got Jake Myers. Astros with that one. Then you got Steven Strasburg. Oh yeah, Kintsukore. That's what it's called. That's right. That's right, Kintsukore. That's what I thought too, but yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it is one of those. Goldie. Alright, guys. Well, there's all the autos here. A couple of vets. We've got a gold. All right, Cal Raleigh. And Berge, Orange. Detmers. We did get the Aaron Judge to three. And that Julio color, so... That was the first box, or first case, I should say. Let me go grab the second case right here behind me, and then we'll start ripping that one. All right.
I mean, try to not to say that you're wrong, but there was times where the O-line gave Danny Dines more than enough time. It's just the coverage was so good on some of your receivers that at some point that mental clock is striked and then you have our front four going after Daniel Jones. But, I mean, I think it was, I think there was some times where your line did just enough, but the coverage is just too good. And obviously a couple mistakes there, you know, getting sacked so many times obviously makes you kind of hesitate or think a little bit quicker. Um, but yeah, that's exactly what I was just trying to tell people is that, you know, everybody just needed to realize that Minnesota's defense wasn't our defense. So, a lot, a lot of difference between both. But I'm sure as a Giants fan, though, I mean, probably sucks because we lost to the Eagles. I'm sure you have to hate us, but it's just the first year with Dabble, you know. So, I think the next year will be a lot better. Um, XR, technically, Darren, uh, needs to sell out a second filler. I see that that first filler sold out, the little mini pack filler, contenders. I need, need to po I need to post a second one, so when I get done with this break, I can post a second one. But once that filler breaks, the second contenders pack filler, then we can break that, man. But regardless, if it didn't break tonight, it would definitely go tomorrow because it's pretty much almost sold out. And that is a promo break, so I'm sure people will buy into that too. It's just I uh, got to do this break first. Unless Nick does it for me, if he's listening, he can post up the next one. Alright guys, here we go. Second case. Josiah Gray. We got Jake Berger. To 125. Zach Short, nice blue up. Uh, Brady's daddy. Uh, no. These were all the autos. I don't know if there was an A in there or not. No, no auto. Might have got a number card or two. I don't know. Suzuki. Playing Kershaw. Sure, you can have Danny Dime be a, a, a Pro Bowl. <laughs> I'll take the Super Bowl any day. 
Brandon Marsh, and there's that Kintsukori. That's going to go to the Angels and Ryan Harold. There's Nick Allen. There's Brandon Marsh again. Oh, I know, I know, man. Obviously, I'm sure half of these customers in the break are happy. Half of them are kind of mad sad because of the teams they got randomized. McCormick. Robbie Ray. Miggy. And Taylor McGill. Wonder Franco. We got Ryan Mountcastle. not the worst sort and since we're not shipping the vet base I think it's more time just kind of pulling out the veteran base if this was like a three case Bowman baseball break yes regards but this is actually not a bad a sort as, as, as uh, it looks like Yadi Molina and we got Nick Allen purple for the A's to 250. We got Hill Park. We got Rusty Contreras. Yeah, but that's not the most time-consuming part. The the sorting part of it is the one that kind of kills and drags depending on the break. Top loading that's pretty pretty quick and easy. I know because that's what I used to start off at when I first started working here. I used to be a sorter and a shipper, but it was just me though. I had nobody else helping. It was just me. This is when we were still working out of the garage. Wilson Contreras, ten ninety nine. The sorting of the teams is the hardest part, or not the hardest part, but it's just. Time consuming. And how about a Bobby Witt Orange? 17 out of 25. Beautiful. Mark Russo with the Kansas City Royals. We have at least one person here every day. Most, sometimes most likely two. But I think in total... We got like four or five. Juan Soto. All right, next one, guys. You have Brian De La Cruz. We got Salvador Perez. Matt Olson.
We got Spencer Watkins to 25. Nice orange there as well. Color match there for the Orioles. Bill with that one. Paul Goldschmidt. Um, <laughs> anything like upper deck packs? <laughs> They've been really bad the last few years. F1 is cool. It's not that bad of a rip. I've done like multiple cases a night on Instagram, but the packs are just so rough. Um, Bowman, I think Bowman just because of the, the all the paper, I think is what kills me. If if people didn't care too much about the paper, I would just skip it like I was like uh, like I did for Bowman draft, you know. But I just feel like Bowman baseball is one of them is kind of a drag. Super Jumbo is really not that bad of a, a hit break because it's only five huge packs and a ton of cards. But I want to say I have to say like Bowman or like like a just like packs that are rough to rip. I don't mind ripping hour long products, two hour long products. It's just if the packs are tougher to rip, it's just kind of a drag. It's like it's already a long break, but then you're going to make it even longer because the packs are too rough. These packs are shockingly a little bit rougher than I than I expected. Usually Bowman's best packs are super clear to rip. Bowman Jumbo, yeah, that, that's another thing too. It's like if the product sticks to the cards like Jumbo does, yeah, that, that's also like kind of a drag too. You kind of have to unstick them and then you just kill too much time. I really loved ripping Bowman Chrome this year, though. The Hobby Edition, it was great. Packs are just so clean to rip. Uh, it's, it's not that many cards. Um, and, you know, it was really good. I, I enjoyed ripping Bowman, Bowman Chrome Baseball. There was one hockey product I did that just, just fell apart, and it just took so long. I don't know if it was Series 1 or... One of those longer breaks. It was horrible. Yeah, I mean, eminence is easy. Like, the easiest, easiest break is, like, I guess it would be Eminence because it's already top, it's already in a, in a Magnetic for me. It's only 10 cards. Probably that's, like, the easiest. Because I was going to say, Flawless is easy, but you still have the top load, you know. Five Star is a very easy break, too, but, obviously, top loading. But, even then, that's quick. Five Star was really fun this year, though. Clearly Authentic, that's another great one. <laughs> it's already ready to roll. It's, it's in a Magnetic, too, for sure. Those breaks are fun. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, I don't, I don't ever really complain about ripping longer products like this if it's like a, an hour and a half break. Only because, like, it's going to balance itself out, right? It's like, we're going to get those kind of products, like Clearly Authentic, like Panini 1, football, 1-in-1 one -one basketball. So it's like, for like half the year, if anything, or the majority of the year, I feel like a lot of companies have kind of pushed away from the heavy base stuff, so... When I have to do a Bowman in that, I mean, I'm just, it doesn't bother me too much. I just kind of suck it up, if anything. I would do Bowman Draft HTA and, like, Bowman Hobby HTA. Like, I would I would just get rid of to the excessive paper. There's, there's just no need for that. There's just no need for that. Like I said, I don't mind Finest. I don't mind, you know, Bowman Chrome, Topps Chrome. You know, I don't mind Panini's, you know, Mosaic and Optic and Prism. It's just a Bowman, honestly. It's just, 
Let's get rid of some of them. Or, if you don't want to get rid of them, at least just implement like a HTA of one of those. I'm sure people will enjoy it. No, not really. I will say though, a couple weeks back, I did like four cases of, of, of F1 for personals. For a customer that was just buying through them. I will say though, my fingers, especially these two fingers here, because this is kind of the ones I, I like, I grip, right? Since the packs are so rough on F1, I will say my fingers were really sore. Uh, just from like rubbing up on the packs on that. But by the next morning, it was fine. Just that night. So like I said, it just depends on the pack grips. On how easy or rough it is. F1, they just put too much glue at the top. These ones are very simple, as you can see. <laughs> I don't really have a hard, a hard handshake. I feel like, depending on if I meet someone and their handshake's firm, like, I'm like a split second late. So, <laughs> I'm like one of those guys where it's like, it's gonna come in at a, a nice handshake, but it's not gonna come in really firm. Or too soft, but like if I feel you like squeezing down, I'm gonna squeeze down too, like catch up right after you. <laughs> I will get carpal tunnel though, that's for sure. If I don't already have it. There's after a while we're like doing this all day. Right here, it just it just hurts sometimes. That's just the method of how I rip packs. Everybody rips them differently. Um, I, I'm sure Nick will be there, but we're not setting up or nothing. Uh, I, I personally probably won't even be there at all because... I work here Friday and Saturday, and then the Super Bowl's on Sunday. I hate when people close their hand too early. And they squeeze their finger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was one time at one of my, my wife's side of the family parties, like I was just meeting like someone's boyfriend for the first time and just like gripped my hand like super like hard. He's like, hey, how's it going? So I wasn't even prepared for it. So then like, you know, the party went on, whatever. But when he left, when he was leaving, he was shaking hands. <laughs> I like match his intensity. <laughs> it was so funny. I had to tell my wife that night. I was like, like, damn, this dude freaking just surprised me with just a, such a firm hand grip and shake. I was like, damn, I wasn't ready for that one. All right, Kyle Seeger. That's Chad Dahl's favorite player right there. We got a Javi Baez. Torque. Juan Soto. To 250. And Ronnie Dawson. Suzuki. De La Pena with the Cubs. That's a blue to 150. Gold Lubov going to Pizzle. <clears throat> Jake Berger Blue for the White Sox going to Pizzle. That's number to 150. I forget the, uh, the number cards in the top right or top left on the autos. <coughs> Jaron Duran.
Chris Bryant. Well, my wish kind of came true. Donovan McNabb is starting to sign, so I don't know if he just got a contract extension or a contract signing with Panini, but he's starting to sign a lot of 2022 products. Alejo Lopez, but that's just me personally. O'Neal Cruz. Andrew McCutcheon. Bonds, I think people would love for him to sign. I think so. It's like, it's kind of like, for me, as a collector, yes, have him, have those guys sign. But if you're like a guy that obviously, you know, does collect Bonds, but loves that he rarely signs, it kind of keeps his autograph value up, you know? So it's like, it's kind of like a bad thing, because if you, if you start signing anything and everything, I mean, think about it, like, if Mike Trout didn't sign the way he did, his autograph would be worth, a, like, double, triple what it is. Although it's still a solid hit, though. Like, now, I think... I think every Mike Trout autograph I've ever seen, like, sells, like, no more than, like, two, three hundred dollars. Or no less than that. You maybe can find one for, like, between a hundred to two hundred. But, like I said, it's just he's on that level now. But if he was, like, a dude, like, let's say, you know, Tom Brady or those guys that barely signs or only signs in five to ten autographs in every product, then it'd be a lot different. Mookie Betts, yeah, that's, that's actually a good name. I haven't seen that dude sign in a while. I can't even remember the last time. Corey Seager. Cedric Mullins. But yeah, I think Bonds is one I think people would love to have. Like, Griffey. You know Griffey? We all love him. He's kind of cemented the same way. But Griffey size a lot, dude. Like, a lot. Which... You can find Griffey's for as little as less than a hundred dollars now. Oh, is that right? I didn't know if he was an upper deck exclusive. If that's the case, then that's why. Josh Lowe. I didn't know that he was upper deck exclusive. Andre Jackson. For the Dodgers. Mookie. Vicky's starting to sign a little bit more Logan. I feel like he's been signing a lot in products too as of late. Especially now that he's like retired. I'm trying to think of another big big time football player or like other sports that I think Tim Duncan would be a really good one to get signing. I think he would sell extremely well actually. That's a, that's actually a bigger name for basketball. I mean, because of course LeBron, Jordan, they're exclusive to, to Upper Deck, so, you know, they're only going to sign in those kind of products that come out in memorabilia. But for players, teams that are not under that Upper Deck contract, I feel like Tim Duncan would be a nice one. Because really, I mean, honestly, uh, after, like, Kobe passed, I mean, who's who's the next guy? I mean, now we're getting to that generation now where, like, Luka's obviously a big veteran that people want, Steph Curry and stuff like that, but... From like the older 90s generation, it's like Tim Duncan is still one of those guys I think people love would love to chase and get an autograph of his. When they when Panini a few years back signed Chuck, that was like a big deal. And his shit was signed selling pretty good, which still does. Giancarlo Stan to ten. And then a Amberge. I feel like this is our third Amberge autograph from the two cases and more color too. Out of fifty for the Yankees. Great break for them, Richard Miller. Larry Bird and Magic sign way too much. They've also hurt their value pretty bad from signing everything. All right, guys. Well, this is the next case right here. Nice gold right there. 
We got a Jake Berger blue gold uh, that uh, aura of excellence. Marsh, Josiah Gray, Zach Short, Franco Refractor, Watkins, and an orange Bobby Witt to 25, and Jim Carl Stans to 10. That was a banging one right there, guys. That was a great case. All right, let me go grab the next case really quick. Reggie Y would be yeah they actually they haven't made one of those in a little bit. I thought Reggie Y would come out in like eminence in those products, which I think he has in the past. But yeah, Reggie Y. There was a lot more autographs of him like in the early two thousands stuff, especially like the cut autos. P Rose, I know, but now he's like he's been signing like officially licensed now, hasn't he? Dude, we used to have P. Rose. I don't even know if we still have them, but when we first opened our shop at this location, we used to have these, like, Leaf, I think it was, P. Rose blaster boxes. They were 15 bucks. It was all P. Rose cards, right? Just different photos and shit like that. Different cards of the set. And then you got one P. Rose autograph in every box. And it was a blaster for 15 bucks. <laughs> it's, like, crazy. I mean, Mike, Boston Mike always talks about stories of him just being, like, you know, I'll give, give me 20 bucks, I'll give you an autograph, you know, or give me 10 bucks, and he'll take, like, any any autograph signing he, he can. And, yeah, I mean, when you go to Vegas, he was always signing there the times I would go when I was younger. Like, every weekend. And he's just making money off his autograph. Sorry, I know there's enough room, but... Sold him Beanie Babies for his daughter? Wow. Wasn't there a time, too, at one point, there was, like, a reality show not too long ago with, like, Pete Rose? With, like, his, uh... His, like, uh, new wife, with stepdaughter or something like that? Wasn't there a reality TV show?
Yeah, Jamie, I think it mainly is like basketball players. Um, I think they still have tennis, don't they? Certain tennis players. And a lot of younger players that are not in the league yet. I mean, I think they even have football. But a lot of those guys that just signed with... I mean, a lot of these players can sign for with anybody as long as they're not a specific exclusive contract. Well, yeah, of course they have go uh, hockey. That's true. And yeah, they have golf. That's right. But yeah, a lot of those like other players, I mean, as long as you're not like Mike Trout or those guys where you're exclusive to one, then you can sign anywhere. Which I think that's what I would do, right? I mean, I don't know. If you had the opportunity, if you were like... If you were like Mike Trout, would you would you want to have an exclusive deal with a company, or would you rather just venture out and sign for, for multiple companies? I'd assume that maybe he got paid so much, or you know, they gave him an offer he couldn't refuse. Because so I feel like if you're one of those guys that kind of ventures out, you can kind of make m more money for yourself with uh, with other companies, most likely, because they're gonna want you and their products. I think I I don't know if I would ever stay exclusive to somebody. Unless, like, the money was just so different. That like you're giving me X amount of millions and I'm getting, like, double. I, that was a shocking one, Logan, but I guess Jimmy just said there's no baseball players, so I don't know where Tyler heard that. <laughs> I've never heard of him being exclusive to Upper Deck. So I think that would have been kind of big news, right? I mean, he could be. Ex uh, I, I don't know. Kill Park. All right, last case here, guys. Good luck. Yadi. to 50. Yes. Although there is actually Fanatics exclusives, though, where you can only sign for them. But most of the time, it is just memorabilia, though. Because that's their major thing that they deal with. But... But if that's the case, that means he can sign for Fanatics or Tops. <laughs> you know, if that's the case. I mean, Fanatics owns Tops now. McCormick to 99. He's just probably one of those guys that just chooses not to sign. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But, yeah, that'd be a perfect player as an example. We would love to see him sign. Because I feel like his value would be pretty high. Especially the last, like, X amount of years he's been having in the MLB. 
Because that's the one thing. I'd, I'd like to learn a little bit more of the structure of it, but I know you're obligated, like, your first year. And then I think after that, it's kind of up to you. Or you just sign little by little, and then once you get to that point where you can get out of your contract, then it's more like, yeah, I don't want to. Then it's them chasing you, potentially, because they want your autograph and their products. Yes, that is true. His Bowman stuff, his younger stuff, yeah. That that's why I kind of don't mind players not signing a lot, because it just if anything, if you collect him and you have some of his first and you know whatever how many years he did sign before he stopped, then it does make it a lot more more uh, exclusive and more expensive. But that was actually a good one, Jimmy. I hadn't. I I, I feel like. That was one player that I see him all over the place, right? And I'll pick your team Dodger stuff and, you know, he has relics and this and that, if anything. But never have I felt, I felt like I've seen an auto of his. Again, that's our fourth Trey Ambergy. He's like Matt Manning in this product. O'Neill Cruz. Buxton. 75. But I agree. I think if Bonds can sign more, that'd be pretty cool. Wander Franco. Nice green. So we have a green a Julio and then a green Wander. Well, you know what, Mike? I think I learned that Rossman's Dalene is like an exclusive to somebody. Like he signed an actual exclusive deal. And I don't think it was even the biggest, uh, the biggest company. I don't. I, I could have sworn was it? It wasn't David Adams, right? He. I remember exclusively he signed with somebody, where that's why he wasn't signing anything. Cause he was in Fanatics products his rookie year, but it was just the memorabilia, just not rookie. Rookie stuff, like from Upper Deck. But I, I want to say that he signed with somebody exclusively for, for cards, for trading cards. There's no way it's like David Adams, was it? You should look that up, Mike. <laughs> Trevor Story. And then we got another Brandon Mars, one of these uh, Kintokori. Angels. That's going to Ryan Harold. Jose Ramirez. I get the whole like Eichel and Jack Hughes and those guys when they were exclusive to, you know, somebody else at the time. And then finally when their contract ended, they decided to sign with Everdeck. But Darlene was definitely one of those guys that just never did. Connor Wong. To 99. You got Jose Abreu. To 300. And there's a Matt Manning. This time gold though. 39 out of 50. Alright, Bobby Witt. Cal Raleigh for the Mariners. Refractor Auto. We got a Garrett Cole. It's 150. Second case of flawless or no? I don't know. You can ask Nick. I'm not too it's sure. Not on, it's not on the. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming you could, but just ask him, I guess. 
Max Muncy. Um, it was the same player, but it wasn't the same uh, variation. I'll show you the other Brandon Marsh we got. It was a uh, Aura Kintsukori. And then Jake Berger. Alright, here we go. So, so far there's all this right here. The first four boxes. Last four boxes, guys. Here we go. So, I might be a little over the schedule. Like, by like five, maybe ten minutes. But, um, like I said, after, after this, everything else is kind of quick. It's just kind of just running those fillers to knock out... Uh, the immaculate breaks after the hit parade, but hit parade will be pretty fast in 20 minutes, if anything, 25 minutes. So we'll make up some ground by the time immaculate happens. You have black card stands I could borrow. Black one, yes. I don't see any of the. So you ready for tomorrow, Chad? I'm rolling with your bangles, man. For my bracket, they better not let me down. I would be perfect in our bracket here at work if I my just dumb mind decided not to change it to Buccaneers last week. Um, I had it where the Cowboys were going to win, and because I, I knew they were going to win, but I just couldn't do it. I was just like, can I really doubt Tom Brady? And it's like I would love for them to beat the Cowboys, you know, just because I hate them. So I changed it, but I've been I've been right every other game so far. Uh, yeah. Here it is right here. Uh, is that you, Greg, right here? Yeah, the Washington Nationals, unless, I'm, unless there's another Greg in here. I mean, I want to say I was 6 for 6, too, because I knew the Cowboys were going to win, but I just didn't choose them because, you know, just because just of me. But I was okay with them l winning, though, because I, I have them... Like, I, in my bracket, of course, I had them losing this week, so I'm hoping that happens, but I just have a feeling they're not. I think they're going to win. But I was just like, oh, God damn it. But now I'm just a little nervous with just the Chiefs, though, because that's my Super Bowl pick. And I don't know if 100% Kansas City uh, is going to be the best team in the AFC because that was a very nasty high ankle sprain. Yeah, 
Yeah. Because now, like, if Mahomes can't go next week, I still think he plays. There's no way he's not he's missing that game. He's going to have an MRI tomorrow, they said, but I think they're going to shoot him up with so much drugs. <laughs> he's he's going to play, but I just don't know how effective he'll actually be. And like I said, I was happy the Jaguars played as well as they did. Had a couple little mistakes, but, you know, obviously the Jaguars are not the Bills or the Bengals, so... He's going to have to be at 100% to beat one of those teams, which he's not going to be. So that's a little, a little shaky. Yeah, he's not going to be 100%, though, that's for sure. Unless Mr. Miyagi just comes back from the dead and rubs out his ankle or something. I don't know. That's not going to happen. I think it's going to be swollen like crazy. But I guess it would be a kind of a fair deal if, like, you guys won this week. Because if you guys still have your banged up linemen, then I guess you guys have banged up team and then Mahomes is banged up, so. What did Isaiah Thomas do in 1988? I'll raise one. McNabb played a playoff game with a broken foot and actually won the game. I think that was like in 2001 or 2002. I don't know what Isaiah Thomas did to be honest though. I think the game was against the Cardinals too, right? The Eagles game where he broke his foot. Pretty sure it was a playoff game, but I, I think I'm remembering now. I think it was a Cardinals. Sorry, McDab played on a broken ankle. Yeah, McDab played with a broken ankle. Sorry, not foot, but almost close. McNabb, longest running play without getting many yards. Which one? Oh, you know what? It wasn't a playoff game. Sorry. This was like late November. I guess that doesn't count. Did you say playoff game? Here we go, last four. Whoa, Pete Alonzo autograph for the Mets. Robert Runkle, cornerstone. Uh, number to 99. Andrew McCutcheon on 199.
Julio Refractor. We got Manny Machado to 250. And a Brandon Marsh auto for the Angels. Ryan Harold with that one. 1099. And a Wander Franco numbered card. Nice one for the Rays. 54 out of 75. Well, we've been getting some Julios and Wander numbered cards. Just haven't gotten an auto from one of those guys just yet. Byron Buxton at 99. And Austin Meadows to 150 for the Rays. Kev with the Rays. Got that from Capstone Filler. Having a good break. Corey Seager. To 250. And we got Ivan Castillo for the Padres, Tristan. Giancarlo. And we got Jaron Duran. Tonight, uh, Right, two more boxes, guys. We got a Eli Morgan orange to 25 for Cleveland. Guardians, that is going to Tristan. We got a Steven Strasburg to 125. And Brian De La Cruz. Shohei Otani to two fifty for Ryan Harold. And Brandon Crawford for the Giants. Jimmy with that one. Jimmy. Jimmy. Yo Park. That feels like our third autograph of this dude, too. Lou Bob. Also, guys, this is the last box of the break, guys. Three cases down already. Good luck. Got one more auto. Marcus Simeon. And it's going to be Dip Land. And a Spencer Torkelson for Detroit. Jason W. with that one right here at the end. Alrighty, folks. And there you go, guys. This was the third case. Here were the autos here. I think the biggest hit how it had to be that Bobby Witt, right? We got Aaron Judge to three. A couple of nice Wanderer uh, color cards as well. That Pete Alonzo. I think that Bobby Witt to 25 orange was a pretty big one. So I appreciate it, guys. That was it right there. Finest baseball three case break. Random teams number one. Uh, I don't know if we're going to post another one of these, but if we do, jazbeescasebreaks.com is where it's going to be. Thank you, guys.